So far, we have made up a mind that uh, products of popular culture, whether they are nursery rhymes, whether they are folklore, whether they are uh, TV plays or films made in Asia or in Europe, their sole purpose is gender stereotype. Mostly, and this is our opinion, dominant opinion or uh, judgment about popular culture product is this. Pakistani writers, they avoid writing on gender. But if ever some try to do it, they speak the language of feminists. This is the problem. And feminists, you know, their slogan is that uh, men are powerful. There is difference. And when there is difference, there is power. Patriarchy prevails. This is their slogan. So all products of popular culture, they think, they promote patriarchy. And the writers in Pakistan, not all, some of them, they think that feminists, they are talking about reality. They are carried away by their propaganda, in other words. So they speak language of feminists. They draw the same pre-established conclusion. And they interpret all these things in light of that presupposition, preconception. For them, everything that males do is show of power, everything which they do is difference, hegemony, misogyny. Misogyny means Aurton se nafret karna. So all forms of popular, I see, feminists present men and women, not two life partners, they present them as two enemies. This is the impression which we get from reading their views. Okay. I see this misogyny. Men hate women, where it happens. So all forms of popular literature are doing just one thing and that is stereotyping. Why? They are written or produced by men. And this is their answer. Because men have written this literature and popular culture, uh, plays and uh, movies, etc. Their producers, their writers, they are males, so that's why they have shown male supremacy. Such authors forget the moral function of oral literature in every culture. Oral or popular literature, whether they are film songs, folk tales, folk poetry, they preserve our cultural values. See, when you were in junior classes, teachers taught you stories, thirsty crow and uh, greedy dog, etc. And every story had a moral. Okay. So, popular culture, in fact, promotes these universal values. We are calling them stereotypes. The one-sided interpretation of all products of popular culture is done with a feminist lens. The one-sided view. Interestingly, such authors present examples from Indian movies, songs, and dramas to support their feminist point of view. But world knows India is a culture where repression prevails. That is a highly class-based society. Caste system uh, is very strong in India. And uh, there is a very difference in status of men and women in India. If we 
present our point of view by quoting supporting from indian movies and indian dramas so that is a separate type of uh, culture from pakistani culture those certain things are same yet there are many differences so we should not view anything everything that happens in pakistani society by comparing it with india women by instinct for example there was an objection that in movies women body is shown dance was objected women by instinct love to listen to praise of their beauty this is natural instinct in them and they show their beauty why do we have all these slons this is a question even if we see indian and pakistani movies now these days when i am talking with you in 2023 males also done what would you say about that this is not specific to women males dance also show their body song writers also write about male beauty so from this we conclude that we are passing through a new era that is called post feminism so we should discard abandon we should do away with feminist views because feminism has passed this phase has passed now we are living in post feminism phase there are so many changes in every society now we are focusing on we are not leaving stereotyping but our focus is different now we are not repeating we are not beating the same path again and again there is difference there is injustice there is inequality no now our focus is how to control how to minimize the ill effects the bad consequences of stereotype this is the focus of uh, gender writers and researchers these days